In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to perform the Cossack lunge. Cossack lunges are a fantastic lateral lunge variation. They help develop mobility of the inner thigh or the adductor muscle group, which is often an area of tightness for a lot of tennis players. And they also develop unilateral leg strength or single leg strength specific for lateral movements on court. The Cossack lunge can be performed with a kettlebell under the chin, two kettlebells in the rack position, a barbell on the back, or even a safety bar if you have any pre-existing shoulder issues. The Cossack lunge is simply performed by having a nice wide stance with the toes pointing out to roughly 11 and one o'clock. Choose a leg in which you're going to squat with first and you simply conduct a single leg squat whilst aiming to keep your trunk or your torso as upright as possible. Starting the simpler variation by having a kettlebell or two in front of you or underneath your chin will help you with this because that will act as a counterbalance to help keep your body nice and tall. You are effectively going to squat with one leg. Allowing the knee to track in front of the toes will help keep your body nice and tall and it will also assist develop mobility of not only the hips but also the knee and the ankle joint. Once you achieve maximum depth, you are then to very carefully and under control push and extend through the ankle, knee and hip of the leg that you're squatting with until you return back to the standing position. The non-working leg is the leg that we're going to be stretching or increasing the mobility within. The only job of the non-working leg is to remain as straight as possible in order to achieve the maximum stretch in the adductors. Depending on how your program is written, you can perform all the reps on one leg, rest prior to performing all of the reps on the other. Alternatively, you can perform them in an alternate fashion where you do one side, then the other consecutively until you've completed the number of prescribed repetitions. A common mistake with this exercise is to overextend the lower back. This can cause issues at the pelvis, particularly when at the deeper aspects of the squat. My advice is to keep your rib cage locked down by engaging your abdominal muscles and that will help keep your spine more flat whilst you're staying up nice and, nice and tall. Give this exercise a go. If you liked it, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to receive notification of our next release.